e2 e3. Defending the d4 pawn in advance. White could have reversed his first and second moves, but this is more human and maybe a bit more flexible. Black is under slight pressure down the long diagonal and will have to free himself with rc8 and d6, as after d7 d5. c4 captures d5. c6 captures d5. Knight c3 takes on d5. White wins material. Black's weakness is the h5 pawn. So Elginov decides to prepare the NE5 D3 F4 maneuver to put pressure on it. Rook F8 C8 It is slightly less important that white would also be better after. Knight E5 D3 Rook A1 C1 Elginov again prevents his opponent's idea. It is slightly less important that white would also be better after. Knight e5 d3. d7 d5. Because of. c4 takes on d5. Bishop a6 captures d3. Bishop a6 captures d3. Elginov only considers d5 d6, which also gives white some advantage. Rook d1 takes on d3. c6 takes on d5. Knight c3 captures d5. e6 captures d5. Queen b3 captures d5. Knight b8 d7. Queen d5 captures h5. White will also grab the g4 pawn with a huge advantage, as black would shed more material after. Knight d7 f6. Queen h5 e5. The game is of course not decided yet, but black is going to struggle to prove his compensation. Still Elginov's solution is simply better, it involves no risk and leaves black with no easy choices. Rook a1 c1. Elginov again prevents his opponent's idea. d7 d6. Knight e5 d3. After. Knight b8 d7. Knight d3 f4. Knight d7 f6. Knight c3 e4. Black would find defending the h5 pawn very difficult. Knight d3 f4. Bishop g7 h6. I do not particularly like this move, it relies too much on white putting his knight on f4 as the bishop will otherwise be entirely out of play. Having said that, we should note that knight d3 f4 was perfectly fine as well. Bishop h6 takes on f4. E3 captures f4. Knight b8 d7. Rook d1 e1. There is no way for black to defend against the threats of f4 f5 and d4 d5, as white is planning to play qa3 or qa4, forking important squares. I think white is more or less winning already.
Bishop g7 h6. I do not particularly like this move, it relies too much on white putting his knight on f4, as the bishop will otherwise be entirely out of play. Having said that, we should note that Knight d3 f4 was perfectly fine as well. Queen b3 a4 Again a beautiful practical decision by Elginov. White is preparing d4 d5 in an assault on the light squares, now that the dark squared bishop is out of play on h6. Bishop a6 b7 d4 d5 white continues with his plan putting the knight on f4 was still a serious option c6 captures d5 c4 takes on d5 e6 e5 also does not work. White would play. Knight d3 b4. And b4 f5 with close to complete domination. b6 b5. Desperation. Again there was a plausible alternative. C4 captures B5. C6 captures D5. Bishop G2 captures D5. Rook C8 captures C3. Bishop D5 captures B7. Rook C3 captures C1. Bishop B7 captures A8. Rook C1 captures D1. Queen A4 captures D1. And white has an extra pawn. On the other hand, Black has managed to solve some of his problems and he might have a chance of saving the ending. d5 takes on c6. A nice little tactic that effectively wins the game. Bishop b7 takes on c6. Knight c3 takes on b5. a7 a6. Bishop g2 takes on c6. Knight b8 captures c6. Knight b5 c3. White has won a pawn and eventually won the game.